For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have uh, a man with a weight W and he's standing right in the center of this uh, plank. If the planes ARB is smooth, find the tension in the chord in tens of W and theta. So this is how I'm going to do this problem. First, let me draw the free body diagram. You got this tension. You got a normal right here, which is 90 degrees from this line right here that theta is forming with the, <coughs> with the X. You have the weight W acting right at the middle of the uh, plank and you had a normal normal A that is also 90 degrees from this horizontal line X that are uh, phi forms okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is the sum of the moments at B is equal to zero and I'm gonna assume counterclockwise is positive and as you can see you have here at B you have two moments the moment created by the weight and the moment created by the normal at A now the weight creates a moment of the weight times half of the plank times the cosine of phi and that will be from B that will be this distance here minus the normal creates a moment of the whole plank the length of the plank times the cosine of phi which will be this distance here and that is equal to zero so if you clean this up you get w l over 2 cosine of phi is equal to n a times l cosine of phi so you divide by the cosine of phi and that takes care of that you divide by L and that takes care of that and in the end you get that the normal is equal to W over 2 then you know that the sum of the forces in the X is equal to 0 in the X if you notice all the only forces that you had is you have the normal at B and the tension so the tension is going towards the right so let's say that's positive so you got the tension times the cosine of phi I'm sorry not phi of uh, theta let me correct that theta because this is theta therefore this is theta minus the normal at B which is this one times the sine of theta now why the sine of theta because if this is theta and this is 90 degrees then this is also theta and that is equal to zero so when you clean this up and you solve for t you get that t is equal to the normal times the sine of theta over the cosine of theta and this is important as well turn the page the last equation that I'm gonna form to solve all this bring all this together is the sum of the forces in dy I need space to do this one so in dy you got this tension this normal has a component going up the tension the weight is coming down and the normals coming up so as you can see they can all be related with the sum of the forces in the y so let's start with the tension the tension times the sine of theta because remember this is theta still plus the normal at b times the cosine of theta because remember i told you this is also theta minus the weight plus the normal at A and that is equal to zero so I'm gonna replace this tension with the tension that I found before right here and then I'm gonna replace the normal at A with this one right here 
So I'm going to use those two equations. So the tension is going to make this equation look something like this. Normal at B times the sine of theta over the cosine of theta times this sine of theta plus the normal at B times the cosine of theta minus the weight plus the normal which we replace with the other one that we found which is W over 2 is equal to 0. So I'm going to put this to the other side and add them together and I'm going to factor out the normal at B. So factor out the normal at B I get something like this sine of theta square over cosine of theta plus the cosine of theta is equal to W over 2 because negative W plus W over 2 is negative W over 2 but when you pass it to the other side of the equation it's positive W over 2 over here I'm just going to do a basic addition in fractions so common denominator is cosine of theta cosine of theta divided by cosine of theta is 1 times sine square sine square theta cosine of theta divided by 1 is uh, cosine of theta times cosine of theta is plus cosine square of theta and that is equal to w over 2 but everybody knows that sine square of an angle plus cosine square of that same angle is equal to 1 so you get nb 1 over cosine of theta is equal to w over 2 so nb is equal to w over 2 cosine of theta and now we can do have this new equation and what we're going to do with this new equation is we're going to plug it into the second equation that we found for the tension remember I said that the tension <coughs> I said that the tension is equal to nb sine of theta over cosine of theta that's in the previous page and I'm going to replace that in here with what I just found in here and I'm going to get W over 2 cosine of theta sine of theta over cosine of theta the cosine of theta cancels out and you get that the tension is equal to W over 2 sine of theta final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.